your heart is empty and you don't feel anything and just want the money and the big cars. And I had all this stuff. But it was, was not making me happy. Welcome to this video. I'd like to talk about how people think they are normal educated as you and me, but they are still thinking in the same ways they have been taught at school and that they have to function in the system and they, that they have to be a part of the whole, you know, not just educational system, but also just working as a small part of a company that is actually not that bad. But in this case, if people just work and feel under challenged all the time or most of the time, they first of all won't be happy in their life. And the second thing is they waste their originality. They waste the person they could actually be. They waste their time, their lifetime in just being in their role, being in their function, but they don't find their self and they don't find their purpose. And in this case, they don't become an original, but everyone is an original in their deepest place of the soul where the higher self sits. And therefore, I now want to tell you a story which directly fits to this topic. Yesterday evening, I was in my favorite library. There are billions of books in all branches and, you know, and I feel very fine there at Friday evenings. Most people are going to parties or to other stuff. And so the library is very empty and there are security men, you know, really kind of not that hard guys like policemen with weapons or so, but also wearing uniforms and looking kind of hard, but I know there's a deep, heartful thing in them. And I know them for years. They also know me because I am very often there and sometimes we talk. And this time, yesterday, I talked with one of them and he asked me what I'm doing now. So, and I talked from my jobs and I said, that I have several high schools where I'm teaching here in Germany. So, but there are also lectures here on YouTube for the whole world that everyone can benefit from it. But my official thing is that I also give lectures in high schools. They are not that deep like here. They are just on a basis of psychology and little philosophy. But sometimes I put higher truths inside of it if it fits and really just little few like doing spices in the soup you know that not to over challenge the people there but for you i bring the higher truth and therefore let's continue the security man then was kind of impressed about me and said oh that's great and but you know in this kind of high schools this is for adults and this is um, not the same like at normal schools or universities where lots of people go. And therefore, I can't really earn much money with it. And for the guy, it was a problem. For me, it's no problem. but Because I don't want to have, you know, I don't want to become rich from the outside because I want to share what's rich in me. Because for me, the most important thing is... I want to share my wealth with others. I have kind of a wealth inside of me based on my own experience, based on my knowledge about science, which I connect with experience of burnout, of deep depression, of, you know, kind of dark night of the soul. And then suddenly the experience of enlightenment, which I want to share with the world, which I want that all people get access to their higher self, to the enlightenment. And therefore, this is why I do these lectures and why I am on YouTube and why I will start a podcast soon and why I give the lectures in Germany on high schools, on kind of alternative high schools. And why I write the books and why I do all this kind of stuff. Because from this moment to be the first time in that status and that mode of enlightenment, I 
just have still one wish. I wish that everyone on the whole world get into it, that everyone finds the higher truth and everyone benefits from enlightenment. Why not? Why running away all the time? I really can recommend it. And therefore I do all this stuff here. And so I said to this guy, not like on this level, I said to you now, I said to the guy, I have a special knowledge about, it's not just psychology or philosophy, it's a mix of it. And it's a very high thing and very interesting thing to making people's lives better. And he understand it. It's not like the typical kind of security man, he's intelligent. And he really understand what I wanted to say and that I want to help people with my knowledge. And then he asked, why don't you work in a normal university or in another place where you can get more money? And I said, no, I don't want because on a normal place, there's a schedule. And there I just have to tell students what's written in the schedule. And in the schedule are not such good things I want to teach. And because I have a special knowledge which doesn't exist anywhere else. Yes, there are also other people, they talk about this, but everyone is very special and everyone has own experience and own knowledge and it's always a little different. And maybe you have another person which has very good insights and wants to share, but the insights are different. And maybe sometimes one person doesn't like in a, a special person, which is maybe very interesting and knows a lot and has a lot of insights to bring to other people. But not everyone likes every teacher. So therefore, I have to go in this role now. And I have to teach because there are some people on the world, they want to hurt, especially me. They like me instead of others which say similar things. But there are not so many people which say such, you know, it's very few. And I want to make it a little bit more rich that there comes one further person which talks about higher truths. And that's me now. And so, therefore, I do all this stuff. And this guy didn't get it. This guy just thought, oh, my, he, he felt like said for me and said so you must earn more money and so you don't get enough money with this high school thing and this kind of alternative high schools it's not why don't you go in the university and then I said no that's not what my heart wants my heart cries for saying special things they are not written on any schedule and therefore I must give alternative lectures they not yet exist anywhere, anywhere else on the world. And therefore, I'm there and give lectures in alternative schools and on YouTube and everywhere. And I don't get the money. But I don't want to live for the money again because I had already the burnout and I had already the depression. And I had already all of this experience which money makes when you're just striving for money and your heart is empty and you don't feel anything and just want the money and the big cars. And I had all this stuff, but it was, was not making me happy. And now I have something to bring to the people to make people happy. And this makes me happy again, made me happy back too. And therefore I do this stuff. And this guy didn't get it. He he was fine and I was talking and I think a little bit he, he got, but not the whole thing. And then he asked again, why don't you give kind of a tutorial? Because you know so much. And I said, no, this kind of tutorial, what he means is in Germany, especially something like helping children to become better at school. But this kind of tutorial, what he means is also the same problem. I would serve for the normal educational system, which just has schedules and bring not the higher truths to the people, but instead just make people kind of robots, kind of factory workers, kind of just having a function in the system and not really live from out from the heart and to fulfill their self, to find their potential and fulfill their potential. And I can't support this normal system. By the way, I produced also a video about the educational system and the limitations of it, and I link it down below in the video description. I worked in a normal school and I saw children. I saw some children 
they had joy at school, but they were very few, the good ones with the good marks. And there were also children which was not will to go to school. Every day it was a burden to go to school. And I can't support to make it a burden for anyone to be teached. And therefore, I also decided to do something different where people come and which content people can choose because people want to hear about it. And therefore, I talk about the higher truths. But I also knew that the security man which asked me was also just educated in the normal way and also has the mindset that you have to be normal. You have to function in the system. You need a normal job where you can get as much money as you can. And therefore, I could understand his point. But I also could see kind of a blockade, which he, I could really see this mindset and that he was not able to overcome it. But maybe it will now work in him from our conversation afterwards now. And I hope that the next discussion with him would be more clear, but it's not my target in this case. So the discussion was very nice. It was okay. I was fine. He was fine. He was kind of impressed and think what I do is good. But he didn't get the point that there are gaps you have to find. When you find your purpose and when you find who you really are, then you suddenly also find what you have to work in. Maybe it doesn't come all at the same time that you find who you are. And, you know, this is a process. Sometimes it takes years. From the very first time I was in this mode of enlightenment till now or one year ago when I started with the German lectures, it took seven years until I started to fulfill my purpose as a kind of a work. And also my books, which I started seven years ago, lay for five years in a box and haven't been continued. But now I'm working on all of these projects and hope to really can make lives of people better. And therefore, stay tuned in my channel. See you next time. Bye.